What's up everybody? It's the guru here. All right guys, so let me start by saying I made a boo-boo. I accidentally forgot to press record while I was actually putting the moose and tire on the wheel. I know, I know. Um, but I'm still going to explain to you how I did it, how it went. There'll still probably be some good information in this video, so really sorry about that. My bad. So, if you've watched any of my last two series of single track videos, uh, you know that I already have the, sh the uh, 505 Cheater installed. So, I've just been super busy and uh, I hadn't been able to edit the video of me installing it, but here it is. So, I'm starting by taking off my old tire, which was the Michelin uh, Starcross MH3 motocross tire that kept me from climbing several hills i mean it was that simple the thing just spun uh this tire is from like uh 2009 is how long it's been on this bike for over a decade it's kind of crazy to think about but uh yeah just not made for off-road work so yeah so here's my moose it's the uh new tech um regular compound moose not the soft so I just kind of took the gel, went completely around the moose, and then had these gloves on, just kind of lathered it up, got everything lubed up, made sure to lube the inside of the tire itself as well. So now the fun part kind of starts. Uh, you want to start by putting the moose in the tire. And I know some guys will even uh, do something similar like this with tubes. They will put a little bit of air in the tube, put it in the tire first. That has never been my style. I seem to pinch tubes like that easier than I do if I just leave them folded up and stick them way in the back of the tire after I get one side of the tire on. But to each his own. Everybody's got their tips and tricks. And different things work better for different people. But, uh, yeah, the only real challenge with this was that uh, the lube had made the moose slippery, the tire slippery, my hand slippery. Um, so you just got to kind of wrestle with it. And I have access to some tire tools. I have access to a tire machine, a Rabaconda, all that. But this was a situation where I wanted to basically prove to myself that I could install this moose um, by myself with no special tools. Um, so that's what I was going to do. And I knew it was probably going to be a little harder than necessary. Uh, definitely would have been easier looking back if I had a second person there just to kind of hold the tire stand, hold some tire irons. But uh, yeah, just knowing that it's uh, easily possible for me to get it changed by myself in my own garage with just hand tools is comforting for sure. Alright guys, so I basically installed this moose the same way you'll see everybody on YouTube do it with hand tools. I had a bead buddy and five tire irons, and the biggest issue I had was getting the tire over the rim at the start. Um, because I can't slide the rim inside the tire like I would do with, with a tube. So, it just kept, one side kept wanting to pop out. If I would have had a second person there, it would have helped a lot, but I ended up being able to muscle it on there, and then once you get the first side on, on the rim so it'll stay, the second side's easy because there's no tube to pinch. So just put it on like you would any other uh, tubeless or tube, any setup at all. Um, it's just the initial getting the, the rim inside the tire that was any problem at all. The rest of it went smooth. And there's plenty of videos out there on this, guys. <clears throat> you didn't need to see me do this, but I'm sorry about the uh, pressing record. I was a little flustered, uh, muscling with this thing, but that happens to the best of us. So, <clears throat> got the 505 on. I've rode with it three times, and I'm super impressed. Um, the only issue I've ever had with it is in, <clears throat> like, deep... Uh, any kind of deep mud, it loses everything. The knobs are just pretty close together. But if it's not muddy, 
this thing is awesome. I don't ima I can't even imagine how much traction uh, the 525 must have that everybody talks about because this one felt insane to me. Only issue I've had so far is after uh, probably went a hundred, almost a hundred miles, and the tire uh, popped off the bead, and I could kind of feel the moose and the tire spinning on the wheel a little bit every once in a while if I'd get on it hard. So I've had to put it back on the bead once. I probably need to install a second rim lock. So I don't know. I've still got a lot of testing to do. <clears throat> My plan is to run this 505 and see how many miles I can get out of it. Um, I'm going to do another video on that. Showing you the wear after so many miles. And when this tire is shot, I'm going to put on the 525 compare the traction with it and uh, see how many miles I can get out of it so stay tuned um, I've also got another video I can link down below that shows the weight the different weights of uh, installing this moose versus running a heavy-duty rear tube because we're talking about a uh, rotating mass here so every little bit of weight makes a difference but anyways Thanks for watching. Thanks for going on this journey of motorcycle parts with me. Thanks for uh, all your comments. Thanks for subscribing, hitting that like button. All of it definitely helps me big time. January is a really bad month for YouTubers because revenue drops. Uh, I've had channels in the past where revenue drops like 30%. Um, this year, this channel's revenue dropped 50%, guys. It's uh, been really tough, so... Anyway, thanks for everything. I will see you in the next one.